Catholic and religious leaders drawn from Christian and Muslim fraternity have today presented a petition to Parliament to inquire into the proliferation of LGBTQ in Kenya. Speaking in Nairobi, the religious leaders have raised concerns over their attempts to legalize LGBTQ activities in the country and vowed to stand for family values. They have asked Parliament to fast track the discussion and passage of the Family Protection Bill sponsored by Homa Bay MP Peter Kaluma in Parliament, otherwise known as the Kaluma Bill. Here's Alice Diana with this report. Senior members of the clergy from the Catholic, Protestant and the Evangelical churches, as well as leaders from various Muslim organizations, have raised concern over the proliferation of homosexual agenda in Kenya. The clergy have petitioned Parliament to inquire into the proliferation of LGBTQ in the country. The men of cloth now want Parliament to ensure the Cabinet Secretaries for Education, Health, Foreign Affairs and Labor and Social Protection and the Inspector General of Police to confirm the measures they are taking relating to the sneaking of LGBTQ agenda into the country. We request, therefore, after we have made inquiries into the foregoing issues, that uh, Parliament ensure pursuant to Standing Order 25A and 40 and in exercise of its oversight role that Cabinet Secretaries of Education, of Health, of Foreign Affairs and of Labor and Social Protection and also the Inspector General of Police confirm the measures they are taking relating to the sneaking of the LGBTQ agenda into Kenya and the international curriculum offered in Kenya relating to the Ministry of Health's position on the definition of sexual health and rights, relating to the proliferation of foreign actor funding and lobbying on LGBTQ matters in Kenya, relating to the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection's plans to safeguard the family from such corrosive influences uh, through the Department of Social Protection and Family, are relating to enforcement of the penal code provisions, including section 162, 163, and 165 of the penal code that prohibit homosexual conduct in Kenya. The religious leaders have also asked Parliament to fast track the discussion and passage of the Family Protection Bill, sponsored by Homa Bay MP Peter Kaluma in Parliament, popularly known as the Kaluma Bill. Request Parliament to fast track the discussion and passage of the Family Protection Bill sponsored by Honorable Peter Kaluma in Parliament, otherwise known as the Kaluma Bill. We also request Parliament to reject completely the proposed decriminalization bill by the National Council for Administration of Justice that seeks to uh, allow certain moral uh, actions that go against our moral laws like prostitution to be legalized in Kenya. The clergy have vowed to speak against this vice and strongly support family values. This is not the opposite of light. It is the absence of light. But in Kenya, Kenya is a country of light. Kenya is a country of people who fear God from different backgrounds. And so we will go out there and we will rescue our trapped young people, our trapped girls and boys, and we will rescue them. But in the same breath, we will resist those that are workers of iniquity. Okay. Some of us, we are ready to pay the price for the cause of family matters. It doesn't matter whether it's money we are going to lose. It's a question of money or, 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 or family. We are ready to pay the price. In actual fact, some of us have already lost funding and, and speaking appointments in the United States because we spoke against this ruling and we are willing to pay the price and Thank to you. go full blast. On his part, Homa Bay MP Peter Kaluma assured the religious leaders that the family protection bill once presented in parliament will be discussed in the shortest time possible. That uh, the mood in parliament is with um, the family as a fundamental unit of our society is with them and is shared across all Kenyans. I have no doubt and I entertain no doubt in my mind that as and when this bill will be on the floor of parliament, it is the kind of a bill that we can treat and have concluded even within a day. Because the need to protect the family is now a critical need and it is something 
we all rally around because of the dangers that we are talking about. This bill in summary will define who is a woman, who is a man, what is sex, what is gender, what is male, what is female. So that uh, nobody should be struggling to define what a woman is. So that the shattering of the women's rights we've been fighting for for eternity can stop. Alice Diana Hope TV News Watch.